All right, today we're going to talk a little bit about Disney. And I know I showed you this one before, but let's just go over it again. We had some major symmetry on the weekly chart here where one of the prior swings was $19.90. This swing was $19.85. So when you got close to that, we wanted to look for a possible low in Disney. Okay, so this is uh, where you had the two projections and then also there was a 382 retracement of one swing and a 50% retracement of another swing. So that gave us support here. Now, I'm always worried about what's going to happen with um, earnings, but earnings came out. And guess what? You know, so far we've seen a nice rally off of this simple symmetry with a couple of retracements, but know that if the larger pattern is going to play out, okay, where you, you pull back and you extend and you pull back and you extend, our potential upside target is going to be this 152.48 area, okay? Now, I don't want you buying up here and risking underneath here because that's ridiculous. So we'll go down to the uh, lower time frame chart. Well, lower from the weekly is going to be the daily chart, and I do want to show you an area that I'm going to focus on. And it's going to be anywhere from this 134.32 to 136.20 area. If we can see a either a 15-minute or a 30-minute buy trigger after you know pulling back into this zone, then I'd be willing to take a trade and then define the risk underneath this area here. Okay. In the bigger picture, our potential upside target is going to be this um, 152.48 uh, area. There's no guarantee that we're going to make that target, but guess what we're going off of? We're just going off of the past pattern. You had a pullback, an extension, pullback, and if it plays out fully, you get an extension. All right, so that's what I'm looking at in, uh, in Disney in the next couple of sessions.